All right, guys, today we're going to be doing markup and markdowns. Let's go ahead and look at number seven first. We see that we've got a $300 suit is marked down for 20%, so that means we'll put 20% here. And the 300 has to go here. When we do that, we realize that we're going to be multiplying these two together, so I've got to turn that 20% into 0.2. Uh, if I do that, I realize I'm multiplying 300 times 0.2, Well, that's going to give me zero, that's going to give me zero, and that's going to give me six. And then I have to move my decimal point one spot. So that's going to be $60. Now that I'm in the markdown is $60, I simply take the price, 300, and I subtract it from $60. And that's going to give me $240 left. Okay. Let's go ahead and move down now to number nine. Uh, it says, Karen purchased the DVD player shown in, in the sign on the right. Find the percent marked down. Well, this is the formula big number minus small number divided by original number that I showed you in class. The big number is 175.90. And see, the small number is one. 153.77. Uh, okay, and now we're going to have to subtract zero. Uh, that's going to be three. We had to carry one, so that made that eight. Makes this one. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Uh, this was 3, 5 minus 3 is 2, and then 7 minus 5 is 2. So um, that means the, when we're finding the percent, we realize that um, with that is the difference on top. Now we have to divide it by the original number, original number, uh, and that was 175.90. All right, let's check that out in the calculator. It says 22.13. Bottom, uh, let's see what we're going to divide. Divide by 175.9, and that's going to give us uh, 1258, point 1258.1258. It does say to round to the nearest percent, so when we move this over, this becomes 12.58. If we round up, it's going to be 13%. All right, number 11. Nate has $500 to spend at the grocery store. He fills a shopping cart with the uh, items totaling $46. 46 bucks is what he spent. Uh, at checkout, he will have to pay 6% tax, so he's going to multiply 46 by uh, 6%, which will be 0 0.06, All right? And let's see, if we put that in our calculator, 46 times 0 0.06 uh, is going to equal 276. Uh, now that we know uh, that's how much is going to increase uh, in tax, we've got to add that to our $46. And that's going to give me $48.76. That right there tells me $50 will be enough because this amount is less than 50. So the answer is yes. And going down to... Uh, number 13, store computer, computer store, excuse me, buys a computer system for the cost them $4 or $465.60. The selling price was for $776, but then the store advertised a 30% markdown. So if we do a 30% markdown, it's going to be 776 times uh, let's see, 30 
And now we see that we've got um, 576 times 0.3. And move that back. And our calculator is going to say that uh, 776 point three times uh, let's see uh, point three is going to be two thirty two fifty nine so uh, let's see two thirty two fifty nine two thirty two and then fifty nine Now we're going to be minusing this because this is uh, how much the discount is. So we have to minus it from uh, 776. We're just going to get rid of this point three here for a second. And let's see. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and put my decimal spot in the right place. And now if I go ahead and subtract this, since it was a discount, uh, this is going to be 1. Uh, let's see. This is going to be, let me make sure I put the right number there, 232, let's see, 776. Uh, let's see. And the bottom one, uh, Let's see, times 0.3, yeah. Oh, wait a second, that was an eight. My apologies, I thought there was something funny about that. Uh, let's go ahead and make that correction really quick before I've gone too far. Let's see, this is going to be an eight. Let's see. Point eight. And now let's go ahead and subtract this. Uh, so that's going to go ahead and be a two. That's going to put this down to a five. That'd be three point two. This would be four. Nine. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait a second. We said that it was going down, not up. So we have to subtract, not add. If I subtract this, uh, that was two. Let's see. Uh, we borrowed one that was three. So minus three is four. And five minus two is five. 7 minus 2 is 5. So that means <clears throat> the uh, computer now on sale for 500. Uh, let's see. Find the current sales price $543.20. Now it says that the members at the loyalty club get another 10% off. From their purchases, how much do the members get? Well, this is going to be uh, basically an additional 10%. So it would be 543.2. We're going to multiply it. Let's see. Um, an additional 10%. So this would be times 10%. Uh, the decimal move back twice would be 0.1. Uh, when we do this, we're going to get 5, 4, oh, that's not 3, 3, 2, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, I think I made a mistake here, let's try this again, 5, 4, 3, point two times 0.1 and that's going to be 54.32 so how much do the members pay for it we've got to deduct another $54 uh, $54 and 
did I say that was? 54 dollars and 32 cents. 32. Well, um, that's going to give me another zero. And if we all uh, see, that's going to be eight. Remember, this over here is not part of that. Um, means I borrowed one over here somewhere probably from my fives which makes this four so how much do numbers pay and that's going to be nine no 13. and that's going to be once again we're going to borrow so that would be oh gosh this is three fourteen we borrowed one there. Oh my goodness, this has turned out to be a hot mess here. Um, if that's 13 there, that's going to be nine. That's going to borrow one here. Um, but I believe there's a number here. I didn't line this up very well. And it's costing me now. So I'm going to backtrack and try to get this correct. Let me see here. Um, Ah, there we go. That, that's the number right there. It was five, four, three, point two, and we're going to be minusing fifty-four dollars uh, and thirty-two cents from it. Let's just put it in the calculator because obviously I'm getting a little tired, making very sloppy mistakes. Five hundred and forty-three dollars, point two minus $54.32. Now it's going to equal uh, $488.88. And that's the last of them that I have to do. Uh, thank goodness, because obviously I'm getting really drowsy. Uh, see you in class.